high, we're Lake Street Dive, and we're at the Ryman Auditorium. I grew up um, in Hendersonville, close by. I was pretty young when I started singing, and sort of when I decided that I was gonna be a singer. I was maybe five or six. For some reason, I just never decided on anything else but to be a singer. My parents were rock musicians and met in a band, so. <laughs> If I didn't do anything else, uh, they probably would have been upset. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I started singing in my church choir when I was five and uh, playing piano at that age and then picked up the bass. And It's kind of been a lifelong passion for me. Too. My parents made me play trumpet because they because no one else in the family had a gig on Easter. They played saxophone and flute and stuff, and you always hire a trumpet player on Easter. And so that was the original impetus. I, I play so few Easter gigs nowadays, I'm, I hate to disappoint them. <laughs> You're rusty. Yeah, exactly. We all met in college up in Boston at the New England Conservatory, and we're put together. The original and current formation, and hasn't changed by this guy, said, uh, we're gonna be a band now. And we said, okay, and 13 years later, we're not complaining. Playing at the Ryman is a destination. It's a benchmark for any musician who enters into the career of music. This room has an energy to it that's been left here by all the iconic performers. First time I'd yeah. ever stepped foot in the Ryman was for our first gig here, so that was crazy. Stepping on stage for the first time here was, it's, it's extremely surreal, you know, I knew that like my mom was in the audience just being like, oh gosh, I hope she doesn't mess up. So it was like, I just was like super, super, I was jazzed, I was excited. I thought I would be really nervous, but instead I felt like the room had like a calming effect on me. I had never been here before we played here and, you know, I'd heard a lot about it. Everyone in the room can hear the music well and see the musicians well and has a great experience and so that's great for the band. I think 13 years ago we, we would have, I think that we would say, wow, like I can't wait to, to go on that journey because there was no indication at that time that we were going to be something that was going to have any kind of longevity, something that was going to have any kind of appeal to uh, you know any audience whatsoever, let alone a band that is that is that, that achieves bookings at legendary venues like this. This room for me has a lot of magic. Someone in this crowd was me five years ago dreaming of maybe playing on this stage. And before that, I didn't have the courage to dream. It seemed so impossible. And uh, it's a dream that came true.